Good day everyone, welcome back to Sam's Watch Review, the place for all things related to budget watches. Today we'll be taking a closer look at this cool watch released in early 2022, the Casio WS1300H, and this one is variant code 8AV. Let's find out if it's the right fit for your needs. And hey, if you enjoy this review, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Let's start with the size and build. This watch measures 51.3 mm long, 51.1 mm wide, and 14.8 mm thick, and weighs 49 grams. With its quite large dimensions, it gives off a G-Shock vibe, and it feels sturdy. Not G-Shock sturdy, but still a very good fit nonetheless. Now, about the specifications, we are looking at a watch that's water resistant up to 100 meters, perfect for many kinds of activities, and it can handle almost anything you throw at it. Powering this watch is a CR2025 battery with a very impressive lifespan of 10 years, that means fewer battery replacements. Okay, now for the details, the case is made of resin. The display is covered by a resin crystal and the strap is PUR resin. The cuts and edges are finely made, precise and neat. Moving through the menus is very easy thanks to the textured buttons that are easy to grip and push. Here we have adjust and mode buttons on the left side and then light and search buttons on the right side. The resin case, styled with a tough shape, combines functionality with a cool sporty aesthetic. I personally don't care about the decorative nut pattern, but the overall design remains interesting. The outer parts of the bezel protect the crystal, and the side profiles prevent the buttons from being accidentally pushed. On the back, it uses a stainless steel backplate with four screws, protecting the module and the long-lasting CR2025 with 100 meters water resistance protection. And you can see here that the outer radius and the backplate are quite distant, possibly to give extra water resistance to the button mechanism. The resin band looks great with a fitting tough style, although it might be a lot more comfortable if both sides have holes for air circulation. This one is similar to the strap on the MWD110H and also the WS1400H. The interface is movable, not fixed, which makes it more comfortable and grips better on the wrist. It is using 18mm spring parts that can be accessed from below. Now, the display it is clear and easy to read, the top part shows day, month, and date, and then below that is the tide graph and moon phase, and then the main display present hour, minute, and second. For low light conditions, the backlight with afterglow is very useful, ensuring visibility even in the darkest environment. It has this one amber colored LED on the left side, which I think is just enough, not the brightest, but okay. And you can also set the length of the afterglow effect, 1.5 or 3 seconds. Now, about the functions, besides the unique tide graph and moon phase, the Casio WS1300H offers a stopwatch, a countdown timer, three alarms and hourly signal, and also dual time. The menu structure is easy to understand as usual with all Casio watches, except maybe for the tide graph, which is a bit specific. Okay, about the unique feature, the tide graph, it has a 12 hour range for each set of high and low tide. And after wearing the watch for some days, I was totally confused. After looking at many references about tide and tide graphs, now I can tell you that this feature on this watch is applicable for locations with semi diurnal tides, meaning two high tides and two low tides in 24 hours. 
Looks like it's not going to be usable for locations with diurnal tides, meaning one high and one low, like where I am right now. Another thing that's pretty confusing is setting the lunar tidal interval, which the reference is not easily available. The manual book only lists several cities, and I'm not even sure of its accuracy. You might have to do the calculation by yourself. And then now for the moon phase, it is easier to understand. It will show the current phase of the moon, is it new moon, full moon, and so on. But anyway, I wish it had a front light button, and we can use the top right button for menu navigation of the tide and especially the moon phase. Here it can only move forward, and to return, you will need to push the mode button several times until returning to the tide and moon mode again, which is not the best way. So what about comfort? Well, this watch doesn't disappoint. It has a secure fit with its movable strap interface and also balanced weight distribution, making it suitable for all day wear. Now, let's sum up what's good about the Casio WS1300H. Cool G-Shock-like style, impressive water resistance, a 10-year battery life, well-built quality, textured buttons, a comfortable strap, and a range of features make it a solid choice. The tide graph and moon face features are especially great for outdoor enthusiasts, especially if you're using it for applicable locations. On the downside, the tide graph may not be usable in areas that's not having semi diurnal tide pattern. Also, setting up the lunar tidal interval for the tide graph can be a bit confusing for some, including me. Then, the navigation of the moon face mode is not the best, and additionally, the decorative nut might not be everyone's cup of tea. In conclusion, the Casio WS1300H is good for those who lead an active lifestyle and great if the tide graph and moon face works for you, or at least if you like the aesthetic side of them on the display. And yeah, that wraps up our review of the Casio WS1300H. Before you go, don't forget to let us know what you think of this watch in the comments below, especially the tide graph and lunitidal interval setting. If you enjoyed this review, please give a thumbs up, share your thoughts, and subscribe for more budget watch-related contents. Until next time, have a great day.